Hey y'all, welcome back to the Spirit of the Outdoors. Uh, I wanted to do a short garden update and I'm going to try to make it short. I'm going <laughs> to film a couple of videos if the chickens will let me. Y'all, uh, I know y'all want to be heard, but give me a break here for a minute. Uh, you see I got lettuce, kale, radishes, stuff doing really good in this little small bed and it's really crammed in here. The lettuce in there is getting pretty big so it's time to I'm gonna put another little couple of rows in here so um and this time I'm gonna do a different variety than what I planted before so what I've done let me get my hoe you ain't, you ain't supposed to just lay your hoe down somewhere so what I'm doing pulling me a little small ditch and uh and I'm just kind of sprinkling some seeds in, in there. And so what I'm doing is dumping them in my hand. And I like to say what I'm doing a lot, y'all notice that? I ain't gonna quit. I ain't even gonna try to. So I just take and kind of sprinkle these. And I don't want to overdo it. That is probably way too many. I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a, a second ditch right over here. I got plenty of seed, and all of them y'all won't come up. It's dry, and they liable to come up and die. I'm... All right. So now I'm just kind of covering them up lightly here. The next thing, uh, I try to be careful about using people's names on uh, that, that send me stuff because you never know who don't want their name, but y'all will see Hound Jog. She sent me some, this is water spinach. Now, I have done some research on it. This is a more of an aquatic plant. I did see a guy that was raising them out in Nevada in uh, excess of 100 degrees every day, a lot drier climate. We've got a lot of humidity, which should be good for this. But this plant, from all accounts, could be, it is a Southeast Asian plant, which is, a lot relative to southeastern United States. The climates are very similar. Um, it could be an invasive species. In this bed, I can keep this contained. So, we're going to plant some water spinach. Uh, I've been holding off to plant these seeds, and from what I've researched, they was doing really good. So I'm not going to plant an excessive amount of them right here yet. I'm just going to take a few of these seeds in a little bag here she sent me, and I I want her to know I really appreciate that, and I wanted to give her a shout out, y'all. I'm really appreciative. I've never fooled with this before, but I'm really appreciative when people give me stuff to try. Oh, I don't mind trying anything. Now, this is something that I have never, and this, I'll show you the seed. They really, they're really a large seed. I was trying to wear these crocs out here in these, uh, we got sand spurs bad, y'all. We about to get, they starting to die, so they won't last much longer. I'll be so glad when they done. All right, I'll have to refocus the camera to show y'all this. Y'all, this is a, a fairly large seed. This looks like a little, gravel somewhat but anyway oh uh, i'm gonna just go ahead and drop all of them in there because if they don't come up oh uh, i've struggled y'all it's gotten dry in the last couple of weeks so it's it's hard i've let some things die because i've been y'all god it's been so crazily busy I just finished my last order of pottery that I have, but I've got like two people called that's fixing to place very large orders, so I was making a few things that I wanted to make, and y'all, you got to water this stuff in really good, but the thing about this little bed, I can see after it a lot better in here. You can see how big that lettuce is, and this is something called Ben Halsey. I don't even want any meat none of it. It was a free seed, but y'all, that stuff grew up and got big, but 
I've been struggling with bugs on a few things, and I'll tell you about that here in just a second. There's spinach in here. Oh, this is kale, and you see the bugs really ate it up. And the radishes over here is huge. We done about picked all of them we wanted. And when you lay a hoe down, y'all, make sure you lay the blade down. My mama's got a big old scar on her leg when she was a kid. From somebody didn't lay the hoe the right way. Okay, this is my squash bed. I've got some butternut squash, uh, some striped squash that Mr. Jimmy Honeycutt sent me planted in here. You notice that down there there's a lot of bigger stuff and up here smaller. Y'all, I, I do stuff in stages so that once those plants quit producing, I've got new ones coming on. This will allow me to have squash further through the year. Next reason, I have fought with snails this year. Uh, this experiment with no-till, small plants and the peppers is the only thing I've had problems with. But with this pine straw, I have never had problems with snails before, but now when you start doing this and you pile a bunch of material like this, like this pine straw around your plants, man, the snails eat up a bunch of seedlings. And I, I restarted squash three times. I lost a good many of my peppers before I figured out what was going on. You wouldn't see them in the daytime. Early in the morning, you might see a few, and then I come out at night and caught them. Sprinkled a little salt on them, wilted a few plants, killed a plant or two, but not no more the snails did, but Sonny got rid of the snails. Uh, but I'm finna plant some, some more okra in these skips. Uh, but you see my cucumbers is up doing good. We got running beans up, running the vines. We got corn up. So I'm gonna plant these few uh, okras, okra seeds I've got in this thing, in these skips, and then we'll take a look at some other stuff. Y'all, I had been hoeing right here around my Orient Express. About to get stuff somewhat cleaned back up. 
hard to keep up with a garden and want to fish too. But we managing, we managing. But y'all, these, these Orient Express are climbing good. Really happy with them. Sometimes you come out here and you just kind of tuck this behind and it'll weave its way up these cattle panels. These work really good for cucumbers. Let's go take a look at some of the other stuff though. Y'all, this right here is my nut grass patch. I mean my corn patch. <laughs> Y'all, I got the prettiest crop of nut grass you've ever seen in your life. Oh. I told somebody they was trying to get grass to grow on in their yard. They built a new house and they was had red dirt out there. And they, was, how you get grass grow? I said, just plant you some peas or corn. That grass will come up. <laughs> but the corn kind of come up. I don't know sporadic that planter. I don't know if it had to do with the depth or the soil or the seed. But there's a good stand of it up. And then these top four rows I planted later. And y'all, I went ahead. I said I was going to plant a row. But I went ahead and planted all four rows of peaches and cream. I don't know how thick it's coming up. I see some sprouts. It looks a little spotty as well, but y'all, I'm gonna have more corn and I know what to do with, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, I do think you get a better yield if it comes up thick, but we got this patch of corn. We got another patch of corn down the hill and then Uncle Jesse's and the watermelons, all that stuff's up doing good. And I did have to replant four rows of the peas up there. Full rows just didn't sprout. Oh, and then I'll show you up here in this pea patch. Okay, I see my dog's been over here digging right here. She, she'll find the best spot in the garden and dig. Oh, and I've got bugs eating on these few plants where I dumped them seed out. Right here, I've just got some corn that I hand planted. I'm gonna experiment with three sisters gardening here, so. Once this corn gets up, I'm gonna come in and plant some beans, running beans by it, and then put some squash in. But I'm gonna do it a little later. I just, it was one of them things that's experiments. So I put it off. I should have started it earlier, but it's a little late. I built some TPs. Y'all, I put some running butter beans over there and they hadn't, a few of them sprouted, some of them didn't. Now these first four rows of peas, I got three rows up thick. The other end of this row up thick, and then this half and the next two rows didn't sprout at all. So I come in with my planter the other day and I replanted them, and then the back four rows is up pretty good. So I don't know if the planter jammed up and I didn't realize it and it quit putting out seed. Uh, the potatoes is turning yellow, y'all, so I don't know if that's a good sign. It just quit raining, uh, so we hadn't had a rain in about a week. And it's supposed to rain the end of this week. This is Thursday, so Saturday is supposed to rain. Uh, and this garden's too big for me to irrigate. Now, I've been irrigating my little garden with the squash and the, the running beans and all that is. I've got sprinklers set up. I've been watering that, and then my beds right here I've been watering. So let's take a look at them. Y'all right here, I'm starting to get a few peppers on these plants. Uh, and I've got some... Uh, Maypop vines coming up and I'm gonna probably transplant them down into my medicinal garden But y'all I lost several plants here Due to the snails, but now I have replacements down there. I just haven't got them transplanted I'm letting them get a little taller before I bring them and put them in up here. Oh uh, So anyway, that's what's going on, but we do have some peppers up doing good growing uh, some bananas coming on I got bell peppers over there. So the peppers that I bought that were bigger seem to be doing good. The ones that I planted in that I started is kind of sporadic. And then this is oregano. And then we've got some thyme and chives and sage. All that seems to be doing okay. Let's look back here at what I'm doing with the tomato plants. Y'all, I come in right here and I put my cages in and then I staked them. Now it would be smarter to cut this bottom run of wire off and then stick that down into the soil. I did this, however, though, for a purpose. Uh, I put these on all four corners and then I put two in the middle and I'm gonna run strings in and out because I don't have enough tomato cages to do all the tomatoes that I have. And y'all, I don't have the means right now to go buy some more of this good wire. I have got some smaller wire, but, uh, I, I, you could see in here where I have run strings right down through here and then I just kind of wound them and wrapped them and went other side of the tomatoes and once you 
got something steady that's not going nowhere, them strings will hold those tomatoes up. So that's why I didn't want the wind. I have had the wind to come in here and blow these over and break my tomato plants. Y'all, that'll just about make you squall. Now back here, I've got some pretty good sized tomatoes. I've got some smaller ones. The snails got in some of this too, but mainly in them peppers up there and eat them up. But we pulled out the collards. Uh, I've still got broccoli back here and I don't know if it's gonna do well and I got one that don't look like it's gonna do nothing. I left a few lettuce, but now I'm getting ready to pull these lettuce out. That's why I planted the tomatoes so thick in there. That whole lettuce plant's gonna come out. You see I planted lettuce down there, but once this lettuce gets up this big, it starts getting a, like a bitter flavor. That actually ain't too bad right now. But it won't be long, it'll start getting. But we eat a lot of salads and hopefully when some of the other stir fry stuff, we're gonna do a lot of taco stuff. I do fish tacos, so some of those uh, big catfish we caught, I'll saute on the black stone and uh, we'll make fish tacos out of some of those big pieces of meat. But anyway, I just wanted to do a garden update so you could see kind of what's going on. Uh, and I know I showed a lot of planting, but you see me planting and you know it's been a couple of weeks since I've done that. How's things going? Uh, so we fight and we're trying to get, get along, keep it going. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. We'll see y'all next time.